All right, everybody. Uh, I've updated the Colson calculator quite a bit today. Uh, added a bunch of new features. I think it'll be really helpful for everyone. And so, first things, uh, we finally have a date for the count uh, for the end of the calendar. Really, the milestones, and that will be right around 11:27, which is right around Thanksgiving, actually. Uh, but that gives us another 50 plus days to work on him and collect shards. And so, that's the primary purpose of the spreadsheet: is figuring out how do we track shards, how many can we. Get it how efficiently can we do it so let's dive in so a couple of things I've done is I've updated the daily gold income uh, I was way off on this uh, somebody in the comments in the last video mentioned I left out blitz milestones and wow those are actually extremely significant you get 310,000 gold per character blitz for doing milestones and then you get 180,000 for the red star milestones and 110,000 for premiums uh, I Honestly, never really thought about it that much, but that's a, uh, that's a good amount of gold, and I just totally overlooked that, and I kind of didn't realize it was ever that significant. So um, averaging that out over seven days gives you about 130K, uh, which isn't too bad. And uh, I've updated a couple other things. I also included blitz charges. If you don't use them and you just turn them into gold, uh, you get about 10 to 12,000 per day on average from doing those from the challenges as well as the 100 that you get for the daily. And then I also updated the daily missions that you do, the, the, the uh, quests or whatever you want to call them uh, every day that they reset. Uh, I had it estimated at 50,000 gold that you get a day. It was actually 115,000. So that was significant too. I didn't realize it was that much. So um, good deal. You know, that's, that's a pretty good amount. So my average daily income then for gold is right around 880k, uh, give or take a little bit, depending on how many raid nodes you actually complete and, uh, you know, how much energy you spend too. That'll, that's a big factor in it. And that plays into the second milestone, which is the energy one. So we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, but as far as daily gold goes, if you don't have a significant amount of gold set up, um, you know, now, now that I have a better idea of what the daily income is, let's say you get about 1.6 to 1.7 million gold every two days. Well, um, you can't really sustain hitting a million gold every day doing that unless you get really lucky on your gold orbs. And instead of getting about 150k gold a day from, you know, your raid uh, orb that you get the gold orb there, um, maybe you're getting more like 300k. I don't know. Uh, you'd have to hit a million a couple of times. That's so unlikely. I really think that if you're in kind of a gold pinch, um, your best bet is to hit the 200k milestone one day and then hit the 1.4. 2.5 or 1 million milestone the next day, right? It just depends on your income. I think it's sustainable to do 200K and 1.25, and that should still keep you in the green or in gold, <laughs> not being completely poor, and uh, still allow you a little bit of spending money on those off days so that you can do, you know, train once and, and equip gear and all that without spending too much. That will at least keep it sustainable. Whereas if you saved up a few million prior to this event, like I did, um, I've personally been hitting 1.25 to 1.52 million a day just to get extra Colson shards. Um, that's not sustainable, obviously, so I'm eventually going to have to stop doing that. But for now, I, you know, I got lots of stuff to upgrade, so I'm going to keep doing it. <laughs> like I said, everybody's case is different, so it just kind of depends on what you want to do. Um, for the energy stuff, I've, I've added a core cost uh, estimator over here on the side. And what that's for is uh, showing you how much each increment is going to cost you in cores. So I'd ha I had it over here for incremental energy costs. Uh, but we, I wanted to illustrate how it would cost you as far as core cores go to continue up. So the idea here is that you hit the 960 um, amount from just free energy and the 80 refreshes, right? So for milestone 8, 9, and 10, and 11, you should be able to get with 50 core refreshes each of the two days. So you need to hit those for sure. And then, like I mentioned before, if you spend another 100 cores, you get one more shard. That's a great deal. Absolutely everybody should do that. Um, one shard for 100 cores is right in alignment with what we would expect for a named character, which is 90 in the shop, but, you know, right around there as far as the uh, MSF economics goes. Uh, but I wanted to show if you go above that and you wanted to hit the next level, it would cost you 300 cores to buy the energy needed to hit that. And then, again, if you wanted to go above that, 
It would, and to go to the next milestone, it would cost you 300 more cores, but that's assuming that you're spending the 100 cores on both days. If you wait until the second day to do it, well, you can only do four 100 core refreshes, and then it goes to 200, right? So you have to spread it out. So if you're planning on hitting higher levels of the energy milestones, you need to spend those 100 cores split between the two days and get a little bit higher. Then for the last two milestones, you need to spend at least the 200 cores on this milestone 15 and a 100 core refresh to hit it and then you would need to spend two more 200 core refreshes to hit this final milestone to get one more shard and just to show these are the core costs per shard so i want to make sure people are aware that when you say okay i want to go to milestone 14 or 13 it's going to cost you 300 cores to get that one shard so you're spending 300 cores per shard whereas over here gold per shard we're saying how much is one more shard in gold amounts and that, that's what i was trying to show is just making sure people are aware of that world warrior added a daily progress uh chart here um also made a block down here for everybody to see and highlighted this very well so daily you need 1220 points per person what that amounts to with 24 people is 29,286 points so every day you should be hitting 29,000 points and i marked on the World Warrior, where those days fall in relation to the points, okay? That's all this is. Um, it's definitely better to be tracking above that, <laughs> especially when it comes to day seven and you're kind of in a pinch. Uh, you know, it's gonna, it, it could be a case where you're really close to that, that end amount and, you know, if you don't have the resources and people to finish it off, uh, you know, some of those points that you're expecting for that day may bleed over to the next one. And it's just a matter of time zones where people are located and all that. And so some of it may not be very beneficial to your alliance, just depending on how they're they're set up geographically. So it's always good to be tracking more towards like 1300 points a day per person instead of 1220 and trying to just make it. So other thing to point out on that is if you do hit that milestone early, if you get that 205,000 on the last day, you know, a little early, announce it to the alliance, tell everybody to hold off on wasting alliance or arena, um, you know, tokens and everything, because you can save them for the next one and give yourself a little boost to start the next week World Warrior. Because remember, we've got another seven weeks of World Warrior uh, milestones based on the end date, assuming they don't extend it. So that's, you know, a lot of time we got to sustain this and it's going to take a while. Uh, next big thing is the Colson calculator, the real Colson calculator, really. <laughs> so uh, what I've done here is I've created a two-week cycle because um, the way that the uh, milestones work is golds are every day, energy is every two days, world warrior is every seven days. So the common denominator among them is 14 days. So the idea is if you're going to spend X amount a day on gold, how many shards is that? Well, I'll put that in here. If you're going to spend, say, like I mentioned earlier, doing the 200K and then the 1.25 million every other day, well, then you want to go 1, 5, 1, 5, right, 1, 5, because what we're doing is we're counting shards here. And the idea is to give a better estimate of what we expect for ourselves in these estimates so that we can get an idea of how close we are to unlocking him, how many days it'll take, and what it's going to take you to get there. Maybe you are short. Maybe you, you know, you're a relatively new player and you're not quite as uh, flush with gold as some of us. <laughs> you can't spend that much every day. So that's where this comes into play. If you're just doing energy, for me, I'm personally just doing the three shards a day. Uh, I may spend a couple hundred cores to get one or two more here and there, but from what I can see right now when I do my calculations, that's not going to really change a whole lot for me in the long run. So that's what I'm trying to show here. So copy this calculator out, use it yourself, put in your numbers, right? If you're spending, you know, 2.8 million a day in gold and getting, you know, 10 shards, then throw that in here and good, good for you. <laughs> Congrats on being that wealthy. But for me, this is what I'm looking at. I'm trying to hit about five a day. Uh, I know this isn't sustainable on the gold side, but for right now, that's where I am. Um, I've already got 34 shards. I've spent, I think, you know, I've gotten at least five or six shards a day since it started from gold. And then the energy stuff, uh, getting three every two days. And then World Warrior, I'm just estimating we're probably going to hit milestone eight or nine every time, maybe 10 here and there. It just kind of depends. I think once we miss the 10th one on the first time around, then we're going to get people a little bit riled up and, and start hitting their uh, blitz and, and arena 
more and uh, paying for those extra arena battles here and there. So we'll see. But the idea is, is trying to get daily totals, get an average. So every two weeks at this rate, I would be getting 107 shards. Uh, what that translates to is down here, my 14 day shard average would be 7.64 shards a day. Whereas right now I'm tracking only 34 shards, er, 34 shards total, which gives me 6.8 a day on average because we, we are five days into this. Um, the days passed since the event started is five. Days left is 51. Um, all of these are formulas, so they should update as time changes and things uh, keep going by. So really all you have to update is your shard count and then your calculator here. So what we want to do is make sure that this number is relatively accurate. And as you go through and hit these milestones, you should be able to update it. So I added some conditional formatting here. Basically, if this number is less than this number, uh, which is days to unlock is less than time left in the event or days left in the event, then it's green. If it's not, then it's red. <laughs> so if you put this info in, you can get an idea of what star level you can unlock and potentially how high you can go. Now, if you see here, I'm 19 days behind six star. So that means if I wanted to get six star, I have to increase my car, uh, shard calculator quite a bit. So that means I got to either add a lot more gold spending, a lot more core spending to energy milestones, uh, or, you know, increase, uh, what I would expect from my Alliance, which maybe it's 10 and maybe it's 10. Um, uh, maybe that would do it, but then I would also need to, uh, actually update the shard count in actuality when we hit those. And then that's what drives these numbers down here. Um, so I guess I could add another column for the, 14 day average expectations, but I don't think that's that big of a difference. So if I was at, let's say 40 shards already, then I would still not be tracking for six stars yet. I would need to be about 45, maybe. Nope. 46. Let's try that. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, if you're tracking for six stars, you know, you don't have to be at, uh, 47. Uh, oh, I need to check this. It should be updating there. But anyway, the idea is, is that, um, you know, once you start getting these World Warrior milestones in there as well, those are big amounts of uh, shards to gain. And uh, you may need to adjust your numbers and see. Um, obviously, you're going to earn these throughout the week, but at the end you get 10. So I just put it as that because it's easier to adjust as needed. Uh, rather than trying to track it day by day. Uh, but I just want to visualize it more than anything and make sure people understand this. So copy this out, play around with it, see what you think. If you think of anything that you want to add or any errors that you see, let me know. Uh, be happy to update this if you see anything important that needs to be changed. Uh, but for right now, I think this is pretty helpful. I think this gives you a really good idea to see, you know, how close you are to potentially getting five stars, six stars, seven stars, if you know, that crazy, <laughs> but, um, you know, I was a little short on six stars when Captain Marvel's, uh, milestones ended. And I was a little upset about that because I knew I could have done more to get it. I could have planned it out like this. I could have spent more energy, uh, and spent cores on that energy to get her there. Cause I think I was like 20 shards short of six star and it took a while to get that six star. So it would have been really cool had I planned it out better. Uh, so I plan on doing that this time with Colson, and uh, I'll see what I can do about potentially getting him to six stars. Um, but I may not be able to achieve that here. We'll we'll just have to see how it goes. But uh, I just wanted to update everybody on this, uh, show it a little bit better, a little bit more detail of what we can do and how we can track this. If you guys have anything cool you'd like to add, uh, let me know. I'd be happy to add it to the sheet uh, if it's helpful. Um, just let me know and send me a message on discord that's the easiest way to contact me or post in the comments and uh, just let me know what you think uh, hopefully this helps and uh, have a good night